The Op Asimov has been one of the best trading devices in CSGO along the red line for years. When you sell investments on the Steam market and look to cash out on a third party site, the Asimov is one of the best choices. But why? The main factor is that the Asimov is a very desirable skin that is liked universally in CSGO. Since the market on third party sites has less traffic than the Steam market, it's important to have an item that people would desire and buy on a smaller market. Many times with something like a sticker investment, the market is too small for those and they may take weeks to sell at a fair price. The Asimov on the other hand will sell within days at a respectable price, making the experience much faster. Another is the price of the Asimov. The Asimov is a red tier skin from the Phoenix case which was initially released in early 2014 and was a common drop for over a year during the time when CSGO was really starting to blow up. This made the Asimov one of the best looking guns in the game, created by Corridium, that is also one of the hardest to get as a red rarity. Kenny S back in his prime, which he's still good now but back in his prime like when he was insane, used the Asimov and I guarantee someone who played in 2015 to 2016 has seen an Asimov called the Magic Stick. The skin was extremely popular early in CSGO's life probably as popular as the dream op called the Dragonlore, which I'm sure you've heard of. There were many factors that contributed to the Asimov maintaining its high price point throughout the years, and that's part of what makes it perfect for third party selling. If you were to buy thousands of stickers or cases, and when you went to sell those items for a few hundred dollars, the Asimov is a good price point. It's a consistent price, so you don't have to buy at a certain time, and the third party prices should be consistent with the 20 to 30% decrease when selling on a third party site. If you have $300, you can buy 5 well-worn or battle-scarred Asimovs, and those will sell really fast. You can buy 15 red lines, those also sell fast, but you still have to get through 15 of those because the red lines aren't worth as much, at least the regular field-tested AK, which is the one that would sell the fastest. The best comparison I can give for what the Asimov was is it's almost like a $50 key, which can also be compared to Dota 2 Arcanas, but I'll get to that later. There are many instances of someone trained 10 or more Asimovs for a high tier skin, just like someone could use 100 keys or 10 Arcanas in current day. Currently trading with Asimovs has slowed down because Arcanas fill that price point and because Arcanas don't have the same trade bands that CSGO items do. Also because of the Phoenix case being an older case now, it's a more consistent price to use Arcanas than to use Asimovs. Arcanas were not used in trading previously. When someone wanted a concrete price for something, they would use a CSGO key. It had a price set in stone and a higher tier item, so you can just use 100 or more keys. But people could also use Asimovs because the price was still fairly consistent. Really it's used to decrease the amount of items in a trade. If you want to sell off a large portion of your inventory, before the storage containers came around, you'd have to create multiple accounts just to store all the keys that you're gaining in trades. And it was a pain to deal with, so people want Asimovs or something more expensive, so they didn't have so many items in their inventory. The rise in price from the Asimov was inevitable since cases always get moved to a rare drop at some point, but still, years later, people are using Asimovs despite the skin increasing in price. And that's just because of how popular the Asimov is. It's just great for selling, great for trading. It's really the perfect weapon for it in CSGO. But unfortunately, Asimovs are continuing to increase in price, the Phoenix cases are continuing to go down in quantity, and fewer people in the community will own Asimovs day by day. As Asimovs continue to transition from a currency to a collector's item, fewer people will be buying them as the prices go higher. The Asimov will eventually reach the final days of mass purchasing, and the red line will follow after some time later. So for someone who is not familiar with Arcanas, the Dota 2 Arcanas, or wants to deal with CSGO items exclusively, what current items fulfill those roles in 2020? I believe the AK-47 Empress could fulfill this role as it's a very nice skin that's been selling very well and is also at a pretty high price point. Others could be the Op Neo Noir or the AK-47 Neon Revolution, and a little bit of a curveball, maybe even the MAC-10 Discotech. These could all be good choices when converting Steam funds into real money. Despite the potential of these items, I think a better question is, will any CSGO items be able to live up to the Asimov was back in the day? Because of multiple sites being banned and because of the 7 day trading ban, I think what we should be looking into is what Dota 2 offers instead. That will likely be the future of CSGO trading if it isn't already, and there probably will never be another Asimov in terms of trading and selling in CSGO again.